Facebook ads lookalike audience tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know about a lookalike audience on Facebook. So what is a lookalike audience? Does it mean just two square boxes of audiences? Well, no. A lookalike audience on Facebook is, let's say you have this audience for your ads. These are your potential leads that are coming from maybe they're coming from your emails maybe they're coming from your website and you know that this is your current audience for facebook now what you do is that you take this audience and you ask facebook ads to create or find a lookalike audience so a another a larger audience so a larger pool of people that have the same characteristics of uh, that have the same characteristics and behaviors as this original audience. So it just basically finds people that are similar to this. So these people all are similar to these people. Now, this is especially helpful when you're a newer brand and you're trying to find more people to reach that are going to be converting customers because that is what most people are looking for. Even if it's not converting customers, you're looking for more views, more engagement, and you can only get that when you have a starting point of your particular audience. So the larger data set you initially have, so for example, if I was to show you guys an example, if I have a audience that is already this large, Facebook is going to be able to find me an even larger audience of people but if I have a really small data set, then even my lookalike audience might not be that large simply because Facebook is not going to have that much data to find similar people. So let's actually go into Facebook and start building our lookalike audiences. So for this, I'm doing this for my Facebook page and you do need to have a ad account set up on Facebook. To actually do this, you're just going to open up the Meta Business Suite and I'm just going to go into Add on the right over here. And you can just open up your Ad Manager. This is what my Facebook Ad Manager looks like. Now, from your Ad Manager, you're going to see in your tab on the left, you have Audiences. So just click on Audiences over here. And once you click on audiences over here, currently I haven't created any audiences, but you will see this particular tab, which says create a lookalike audience, where you can reach new accounts who are similar to audiences you already care about. You can provide them with a certain demographic that you are looking for based upon people who like your page, conversion pixels, or your already existing custom audiences. Usually people use their Facebook conversion pixel, which means that how many people are coming to my Facebook page and converting to customers. So I'm going to create a lookalike audience. And from here, you're going to select the audience all based upon a data source. You can build a custom audience or create a custom audience with customer value. And what's the difference between a general audience or one with customer value? Well, a custom audience with customer value is more so for converting customers or custom audiences are generally just going to be people that have interacted with your business. Now, I have value-based sources and other sources. You're going to have multiple different sources available to you depending on how further along you have set up your Facebook ad manager. So find people who are similar to your most valuable customers. So products for Fadna, personal catalogs, people that have interacted with these particular products, I can find them and I can select a particular product set that they have interacted with. I even have some other data sources available. So let's say that they have gone onto my other page and, and let's say I only am looking for not this one, but another page let's say people that have interacted with my Meraki page, I can look for them in a certain um, location, geographical location as well. I can add that over here. I can click on browse. I can click on countries. I can search for a specific country. And let's say I'm looking for Argentinian audiences. Then within that, I can even search for a specific region or I can search for multiple countries as well. And you can select the number of lookalike audiences. So how 
you want to uh, create multiple lookalikes with different levels of similarity to your source. You can bid uh, differently with different levels of look uh, with a likeness of your audience, and this allows you to spend your money in a better way. So I want them to be very similar to my original audience. A 1% lookalike consists of people who are the most similar to your audience. Increasing the percentage creates a bigger and broader audience. So I want to be like, let's say if I want to reach as many people as I possibly can that are slightly similar to my original audience, I'm going to go with 10%. But if I want to find people that are as similar as possible to the people that interacted with Meraki, I'm going to go with 1%. Then after that, it's going to show me the estimated reach that I will have. And then I can click on create audience to build my lookalike audience. Now, you will see your lookalike audience needs to include 100 people in the same country in your audience location. Currently, obviously, because my source audience is does not have a lot of data points, it's not going to be able to find an audience like that. But I'm going to click on custom audience and I want this to be, let's say, meta sources. And I want this to be shopping based sources. And I want this to people account center accounts who viewed products, who saved product. I think people who viewed shop pages. And after that, I want this to be shoppers. Or I can even, you know, include different metrics who purchased any product, who initiated checkouts, who added product so let's say who purchased any product and i can add a description as well we can add you know all accounts we can narrow this further into a specific facebook page and you know verify with that page as well so in this way you can build audiences that are very close to your original data set of of likely customers of likely engagement um, of likely audiences that are engaging interacting and providing feedback with your business if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video